Am I teaching here? James 3.10 Out of the same mouth proceeded blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. You can't be cursing and blessing from the same mouth. If you are a cursor, be a cursor. If you are a blesser, be a blesser. You can't have dual personality in one person. Am I teaching here? Huh? A man of God, he said, I bless you. Be blessed. It is well with you. It is well with you. Then in the same fountain, he tells you, say, I curse you. He said, these things ought not so to be. You can't have the spirit of God and the spirit of Satan in you at the same time. You can't patronize the two of them. These things ought not so to be. You can't be a blesser and a curser. Because your father is not a blesser and a curser. What seems to happen when people pray those cursing prayers and the prayer seems to work. Well, like we said, what manner of spirit? In other words, those things are influenced by spiritual entities. When you say, I curse you, there are spiritual entities licensed to take those words and use your authority to execute them. Remember, in this earth, who is in authority? Man. So both God and Satan needs man to carry out their purpose. Did I teach you that? Both God and Satan needs man. God needs man. Satan needs man to carry out their purposes on the earth because in Genesis 1, God handed over this earth to man. Let us make man and let them have dominion. He didn't say let us have. He said let them. We have left it for them. So even we, if we want to come in here and do something, we need man. That's why in order for God to save man, God became man and joined the company of them. Let them have dominion. So when you begin to curse or you begin to use hate words, there are spiritual entities that will wait for you to give them that license and they will use your sphere of influence to honor your words. That's why in James he said, these things ought not so to be, my brethren. They are not supposed to be. You're not supposed to curse people and bless them at the same time. Bitter and sweet water doesn't come out of the same fountain. You can't be a fountain of sweet water and from time to time, bitter is coming out. No, 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 something is wrong. If you are a fountain of sweet water, even when it is good, you're sweet. It is bad, you're sweet. Things are not working, you're sweet because that is what comes out of you. Ephesians 4.27 Neither give place to the devil. So that means a believer can give place to the devil. He is a believer, but he can create an environment for Satan to function. He is a believer, a child of God with the Holy Ghost, but he can give room. He can create an opportunity for Satan. That is why in Ephesians, Paul is admonishing the believer, neither give room or place to the devil. Don't give him place with your words. Don't give him place with your actions. Don't give him place with your responses. Don't give him place. So Satan goes about looking for people who will give him place. So when you say, I curse you, you have created space. You have licensed Satan within the sphere of your influence to carry out an activity of killing, destroying, or stealing. Say, brethren, these things ought not to be. Be tender-hearted forgiving even as god for christ's sake has forgiven you let it go so you and satan don't become partners in the advancement of evil you end up fighting what jesus came for he came to destroy the works of the devil you now you are promoting the works of the devil so you have become antichrist in your behavior i'm teaching here now if you're hearing shout i hear you now that give place to the devil oh these are the best days of the church i'm telling you these are the best days of the church are you understanding what i'm saying the sons of god are going to rise in this nation and around the nations of the world like the devil has never known before you know the devil thinks that the church is confused the devil thinks that there are all kinds of deceptions and delusions that the message of jesus is no more known we are just carrying a form of religion around but the devil is not aware an army is rising in this church and in local houses like power city all over the world an army is rising sure enough it won't be long we will rock this world oh, Oh, we will rock this world something is happening already and the devil can do nothing about it it's too late for satan we know the truth i'm excited oh i'm very excited jesus is winning 
the death of christ cannot be wasted not while i am here i am in this world to ensure that he will see the result of his suffering and he will be satisfied if you are with me in this can i hear an amen like thunder amen. let me show you something here james chapter 3 verse 14 but if you are bitter envying and strife in your heart glory not and lie not against the truth if there's bitterness and envy in your heart don't lie against the truth don't glory in it next verse this wisdom descended not from above the wisdom that will tell you that man has done you bad curse him curse him that is a kind of wisdom and that wisdom is an offshoot of bitterness and anger and strife now james is telling you it doesn't come from above this wisdom descended not from above but is earthly sensual and devilish this wisdom is earthly this wisdom is sensual and this wisdom is devilish 16 for where envying and strife is there is confusion and every evil work the word sensual means unspiritual is a greek word p-s-u-c-h-i-k-o-s -S. it's used for natural things like first corinthians 2 14 the natural man sensual natural first corinthians 15 44 natural body jude verse 19 sensual of flesh those kind of prayers are sensual they are not spiritual they are sensual prayers when you look at somebody and say may you may may you stand up and your leg disappear they are sensual prayers they are not spiritual prayers when you tell somebody as you are going out may you miss where you're going instead of going to office arrive the village those are sensual prayers i'm teaching here you tell somebody as you are trying to bite yam may you bite off your tongue those are sensual prayers they are not godly prayers praying and declaring all kinds of disasters on people they are sensual prayers they are not spiritual because he said these things coming not from above and people have a lot of bad mouth people are full of curse words and when you when you use curse words it's not from above it's not from god amen i said amen and then he talked about devilish devilish the greek word is d-a-i-m-o-n-i-o-s-e-s diamonesis it means from evil spirits or like from the devil because the devil destroys makes people sick makes people ill causes confusion stops progress brings sadness so those kind of prayers or curses or things are from the devil they are devilish so when your prayer life reduces to cursing people your prayer life is a devilish prayer life and the name of jesus cannot work in that prayer life and how many of you know there are some people they can never pray without cursing people how many of you know that it's a permanent prayer style they are always after enemies how many of you know that yeah uh, those of you that have bought those books before you know the content in those books dangerous prayers or acidic prayers or fuel prayers or as or kerosene prayers diesel prayers uh, are you in the house i i know some of you have not bought it before but there are some of you you read all kinds of native doctor incantations that are backed by some old testament verses that are not well interpreted amen so yes you are exercising authority when you pray those wicked prayers you're exercising authority on the earth as a man but not the authority in the name of jesus you're exercising authority as a man but not the authority in the name of jesus and there are spirits that are waiting for that authority to use just like native doctors exercising authority you know wishing people evil how many of you have had some children they will say i'm a very dangerous child anything i talk happens have you met such children i'm a dangerous child anything i talk just happens if i say you would die now you would die there are children like that those children are under a heavy influence of demonic manipulation to free those children you get them born again once they get born again you show them you know the nature of god they are free from those useless things they don't need to go through 30 days of deliverance the only deliverance those kind of children need is to be born again once they come into christ those influences are broken then they begin to grow in the knowledge of christ they, they stop wishing people evil and those children if you check the family where they came from is responsible for the way they are especially children that have been exposed to cursing exposed to incantations and witchcraft they've been exposed to certain manipulative operations from their home 
they grow up under that influence those children need to be born again there's no deliverance they need other than born again once they get born again those things are broken off then you begin to teach them they grow in grace and they become powerful tools in the hands of the law not just children they're also people like that who are always how many of you have seen people when something bad happened they're very happy when good things happy happen they're not happy have you seen such people you know where they're coming from they are not like our father in heaven you must not delight in seeing evil happen because you're not an evil genius you should delight in seeing good things happen when people succeed be happy hey hey uh, when people succeed be happy a brother just bought a car go and celebrate him celebrate him it will reduce you it will not block you you know some people think when they celebrate somebody they are blocked the sky is too wide two beds have never had an accident that's how wide it is everybody has equal chances in christ to be the best hey all of us in christ can make it in fact we have made it because he has made it and he has enough room for all of us how many rooms enough rooms for all of us he said my father says there are many so there's enough space for all of us to sit with him in the place of authority so you don't need to pull somebody down to go up all of us can go up you don't shine brighter by shining somebody your candle does not get brighter by quenching somebody's candle no so let everybody let the life of god in you quench that insecurity because most times it's insecurity when you see somebody succeed you feel like he has finished all the success there's none left for you it's insecurity but if you know that there's more than enough even for your grandchildren you will celebrate their own because their own is an indication somehow that it is happening around where you are hallelujah i said there's enough in christ so if a brother is getting married celebrate him because you you'll be the next if a sister is getting married don't eye her and say ah see the fine man see her crocro legs who even dash her such a man how come she got that man your own man is there if you keep looking at her own you will not see your own so celebrate her own and remove your eye quickly so that your own will not pass by so i, I don't know if i'm talking to somebody here why you're focusing on somebody so your own will pass so don't focus celebrate them and wait for your own time and chance happen it to some of them to how many of them exactly all of them christians and non-christians this thing happens to all of us so just wait on your time there are some things i'm going to teach you that will really change a number of things in the days to come after we finish teaching on prayer and you discover that in this life there's nothing to really fuss about just be happy just be excited in jesus and grow in the knowledge of christ and be contented with him praise god if you're understanding what i'm sharing shout a powerful amen so prayer therefore in the name of jesus has boundaries because the name of jesus reflects the character of god it does what it reflects the character of god 